Well, Clinton says she chose to make the announcement in New Hampshire because we have one of the highest average student loan debts in the country. That while average tuitions have risen 42% in the last 10 years. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton rolled out her college compact to a standing room only crowd at Exeter High School, pointing out that the average student debt in this state is $33,000. We need to make a quality education affordable and available to everyone willing to work for it without saddling them with decades of debt. The Democratic presidential frontrunner calling access to higher education one of the central economic challenges of our time. But here's the problem. States are slashing education budgets and colleges keep raising prices. The basics of her college compact center on a $200 billion federal incentive plan for states to turn that around. Under the new college compact, no student should have to borrow to pay tuition at a public college or university. Families would make a reasonable contribution, but for veterans, low-income students, or those in national service, it would basically be free and crushing debt a thing of the past. Everyone who already has student debt will be able to refinance it at lower rates. Financed by the revenue from capping itemized tax deductions for the wealthy at 28%. The way we will pay for it is by closing the loopholes and the deductions for people at the top. Well, Clinton spoke to the press after expressing her outrage and concern not only for Donald Trump's comments and the positions of all the GOP field on women's issues, but also at the actions recently of our own executive council for cutting funding to Planned Parenthood. We're live in Portsmouth. Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.